So check this out. Heading into next week, I think it's our first Ring of Fire episode as we head closer and closer to summer. And what does that mean? Well, to be honest with you, at this point, it's really hard to tell. But what I think is interesting, let's kind of show you where we are right now. We've got this trough in the east, another trough in the northwest. But this starts to develop sometime toward the middle part and late part of next week here across West Texas, parts of uh, New Mexico and Colorado. And they call it the Ring of Fire because not only is it warm here, you get storms that kind of go up and over and around this big ridge. And if you're in the east, if you're in the Midwest, you probably know what I'm talking about. You get these clusters sometimes of thunderstorms that ride down or up and over this ring of fire. And uh, that potentially could lead to some strong thunderstorm complexes. I think this time period is worth watching to see what develops either way. It looks like some hot weather starts to move into the west and the central part of the country. Still a long way to go. This could all change, but that's what we're starting to see take shape on some of the long-range models. In the short term, we've got some strong thunderstorms possible through the evening up around Chicago, even in the parts of Maine, far eastern North Carolina, but the biggest threat is across Texas, where we've been just getting hammered with storms, with hail over the last couple of days, even a few tornadoes possible through the night. That goes all the way down to Houston. Some of these storms up around the Great Lakes could produce some hail too, so into parts of Indiana, Wisconsin, even parts of Illinois, and as far east, you know, some of these could start to pulse up a little bit into parts of Michigan and then into New York through the evening hours, but once the sun goes down, things will settle down some. A little bit of a weak disturbance kind of moving through here. You can kind of see that rotation right here moving through Ohio through the early morning hours tomorrow. That will bring some rain showers into places like Columbus, but this is of interest because with this vorticity, this spin in the atmosphere on the front right side of it, you'll, you could see some thunderstorms fire up. A few of those could get a little strong. It's certainly not a widespread severe weather outbreak, but that's what we're watching. And then those rain showers move into the Northeast, at least into parts of New York, New Jersey, and then Southern New England as we head into Thursday morning. But this is where the strong storms will be as we move through the evening hours. There's your storms up across Iowa, Wisconsin, and also into Indiana. But these storms across Texas really start to pulse up, and they could drop some big hail and, again, even some tornadoes as we head through the evening hours. On Wednesday, our threat shifts up here across the northern plains into the high plains of Colorado, up into Nebraska, even South Dakota. The severe threat starts to shift here as well. And, again, a few stronger storms possible across Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and even into parts of West Texas once again. But again, this area will be the focus for Wednesday. Thursday, that threat shifts a little bit further to the south. These storms will start to pick up into the afternoon and evening hours here across parts of eastern Wyoming, eastern Montana, and then into Colorado, and then eventually into parts of Kansas too. And all of that starts to shift off to the east. And look what happens maybe Thursday morning. These could be some big storms that try to get going. Some heavy rain, potentially early Thursday morning for places like central Kansas over to Oklahoma City. This complex tries to develop, and it's trying to show here on the HRRR some organization. Still some time on that. We're talking about Thursday at this point. So let's track some of these showers. Find where you are here on the map. We've got these light rain showers moving through the northeast as we head into, what, Thursday morning. We've been looking at those, and there's that wet weather here across the central plains. Showers and storms now moving across the central part of the country. We're dry here, though, across most of the east, though, as we head into the weekend. And then some showers starting to move further to the east towards Saturday, then into Sunday, and uh, quite a bit of shower activity here. Our next system moving here across the high plains into the northern plains, that could bring some severe weather. We're still several days away from that. And then we're starting to watch our ring of fire, so to speak, develop here across the mountains. And then we'll have to watch again for anything that starts to develop up in here. Does that ride southeast late next week? A lot of time before we get there. If you like this kind of forecasting content, I hope you'll subscribe. A lot of you have done so over the last couple of days. If you've made it this far in the video, that means, well, I hope it means you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.